Happy Fall Friday, that was Jawbone and the Air Rifle, a great track and I was lucky enough to be staying at Mark Riley's house last week so he showed me what he played on the track. So he was playing this riff. Okay, so I'm starting on an F sharp chord, okay I'm not doing a full bar, okay the way he was playing it was 4, 4, 3, 2, 2. So I'm missing out the bottom string there. Then I'm flattening my third finger on 4, 4 and 4, F sharp, B, D sharp. It gives you a B chord. And then what I'm doing here, you might think it goes to an A, but no. Basically, I'm just taking this finger off and my first finger is already from this chord across the top three strings on the second fret. Okay, so you've got the open A, open D, A, C sharp, F sharp. So open, open, two, two, two. So you've got... So you get this nice kind of discordant little quick chord. Okay, so you've got... Okay. Great stuff, great riff. Now there's another guitar part played by Craig Scanlon and it's a little harder to hear, it's kind of more pan to the right but it kind of sounds like it's playing something like that, kind of com complementing the main riff so, so I was just playing 4 and 4, C sharp and F they're just hitting single notes here or, or just a couple of notes there and a single note there Something like that. So four and four, four and four, and two of the A, D, and G strings. So you basically got that kind of the main melody. Okay. And I think it just kind of does hits that little B on the end on four on the G string. I can't be sure, but it kind of sounds like the second guitar is playing something like that. Anyway, I put that on and it, it works. Okay, a little embellishment there. And then we go into... So the main guitar I'm playing an A6 chord, just barring across the second fret with an open A. And the other guitar, just playing an A, but you can hear there's an, an A a little higher. So I'm perhaps playing open seven, six, five, five. Okay. So maybe that inversion, but basically you've got an, an A six there. Okay. And then you're back into your main riff. Okay. And then we've got this riff, which is So playing A, C sharp, E, C sharp. So five, four, seven, four. Then A, S sharp, E, seven, four, seven. And then the last bit I'm playing the top three notes. So A, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, E. Okay, so that's that section. And the other guitar was just playing that A chord again. Over that, which just filled out uh, the, the part. Okay, and then we've got the other section, the G to E section. So I started off just playing. A G to an E chord on both guitars. Then on Mark's part, we started adding this. 
Okay, so I'm coming down, I'm playing a G on top, and a, a D underneath, so three and three on the top two strings. Okay, and then a C, a B flat, and an A. So three, one, three, two on the B and G strings. And then for the E chord, just moving that up. So you're basically saying, playing the same thing relative to the chord. 12 and 12, 10, 12, 12, 10, 12, 11, 10, 12. So you've got a B, A, G sharp, F. Okay, coming down. And basically that's all the main bits. There's a little, um, a little kind of sus4 stab when you first go to that E chord the first time before you go into that. Okay, and then there's a little bit of a kind of tiny little solo towards the end where we're just kind of we're in this kind of repeated section. We've got to go. So we've just got a B flat with a little bend and a G, C, B flat, so three open. Five open or three five five five, however you decide to play it, and then just kind of sounds like it's just kind of hitting twelve there of the E chord, sort of pulling on that, just hitting a little bar across the twelfth fret. Okay, whatever you play, just kind of make it nice and dirty and scratchy, it'll fit, and then you're back into all that back in. And then you end it on. And then you just play that A6 again and the A as the final chord set. Chord bit, okay. Um, so that's the basic parts there. If you watch the playthrough, you'll get the kind of order of them. All right, so we'll take a look next at the bass. The main bass riff I'm playing is So I'm playing F sharp, B, A. So 9, 9, 7 on A and D. Twice, F sharp. But just taking an E before the repeat. So on 7 on the A, back to repeat. Okay, then the first time I'm just going to an A. Taking an A on seven on the D string for that little first change, then you're back into okay, and then before you're going into the next section, we're climbing up. So so go so I'm going playing the riff. Then playing F sharp, G, A, B. Two each. Okay, so I'm playing 9, 10, 12, 14 of the A string. And then doubling the guitar with. So, so I'm playing A, C sharp, E, C sharp. 12, 11, 14, 11 on A and D. A on 14 on the G string. 11 on, uh, sorry, F sharp on 11. E on 14. And then a, kind of a little quick repeat on that E. Those last top three notes again, A, E, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, A, F sharp, E. 
Then you're back into. Okay, that, and then little. You got. So a little fill there taking you into the G section. So I've got. I'm just going down on nine and seven and back up. F sharp, E, C sharp, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. In a G on 10. F sharp, slow passing note to an E. Again, repeat that, and then back up. F sharp to G, so you're going 10, 9, 7, 7, 9, 10. A couple of times. Okay, and then you're basically back into into the main riff. All right, and you've got a uh, repeats of that. Okay, so it's all kind of repeating from now on, and then a slight change when you go back in, into that G. got a little extra notes so you've got G B G F sharp so before we just went just went F sharp E now we've got B so we've got 9 10 9 down to the E so you're playing G B G F sharp E again so on that end section where you're going round on that G to E Putting that little extra note in there. Okay, and then you're back into. And then after. You got. Got. Uh, so you're just playing at the end around mainly on the E note, so, so, so you basically play an E, an A, and an E, a D, a little D, back to the E, A, so it's all, so the easiest way is to kind of just listen on the track to get the rhythm, but basically, it's, that little end section is those three notes. Okay, so um, have fun with that and a great tune and uh, big thanks to Mark for showing me how he played the guitar on it. So cheers buddies, thanks for watching.